Hobbies. Hi everybody, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Stockpile Hobbies. Today we're going to be talking about the Rainbow High Dolls and I had scored some really amazing deals. And I'm not sure if you guys know about this, but in the month of January and either the end of June or beginning of July, there is two huge toy clearances that happen at both Walmart and Target. And so I was really excited. I was able to find some of the Rainbow High Dolls on a super clearance and um, I wanted to show one of them off to you today. So this is the first one I was going to start with. This is Ruby Anderson and she is one of the cheerleaders. She's the red cheerleader. And first I wanted to just show you this box is really beautiful. I hope it picks up well, but it's really a gorgeous iridescent color all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. And then the picture on the back is also a rainbow iridescence, iridescence as well. And it says color style looks so far were the girls of Rainbow High. So I just wanted to be able to open her up so you can take a look at her. Um, now, usually she retails for anywhere between 24 and 45 is what I have seen. And when I just looked up her number now, it looks like she's going on the Walmart app for about $47 and change. But I was able to find her for dun, 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 $11.49 at Target. And so it says that it was previously $22.99, but to be able to find her in stores now, she's really gone up in price. I don't know if it's because she's going to be going out soon and you're not going to be able to get her. I don't really know, but um, I was really excited to find her on such a deal for $11.49. So let's take a look and see what she looks like on the inside. All right, here is what Ruby looks like on the inside. So she slid out of the box really easily, and she has got some uh, cute little pom-poms for her accessory and a nice little rainbow high tattoo. I guess we wouldn't call it a tattoo. A little um, paint on her face, but her eyes look amazing. Can you see that? It's like a red sparkle. Again, everything is just shiny and iridescent. I really love it. I really love it. But let's get into taking her out so we can really look at the whole outfit. Now, one of the things I will tell you I struggle with is um, they have these dolls tacked in here so well that it is almost impossible to be able to get them out without a pair of scissors. They are in there. They are packed so tightly in there. So I'm going to work on getting a few of these open so we can take her out and take a look at her. After struggling for quite a few minutes, I was finally able to free Ruby from her box and she's absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to show you her, show off her to you a little bit. The first thing I did notice though is once I had gotten her out of the box. Boy, she has got so many things attached to her that I, I really kind of struggle with it. It's, you know, I understand that you want to be able to put a doll into a box and make them stay in a standing position, but this was just outrageous. Like, she even has plastic holding the pom-pom, which has a plastic holder to hold onto her hand. So... And now that I'm looking at this one, they really did a poor design because part of the pom-pom color is on the inside of her hand. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's on the thumb, not just her nail polish. It's on the inside of the thumb as well as the fingers. Hmm. Interesting. So there is her cute pom-pom which is adorable, and I like that she holds them very well. So that's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. So let me take the other one off on the other side, and then we'll take a look at her outfit as well. But we finally have, here's what she looks like. Dun, 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 dun. So she's super adorable. Again, she, her makeup is absolutely on point. I love it. Look at the detail. The double black eyeliner, 
she has real eyelashes. So if this is the first time that you're seeing a Rainbow High doll, they're really quite attractive. Like I have to hand it to them. Like they they knocked the design out of the park. I really like it. Um, the dolls are also absolutely poseable. Arms, wrists. Her head moves just slightly back and forth, but really there is so much articulation. Then if you go down to the legs, the whole hip and leg moves, knee joint, and then the ankles as well. And if you like, I can show off her amazing uh, high-heeled <laughs> cheerleader sneakers. And her outfit is super cute. The only downside that I would say is she does not come with a stand. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that because if you want to be able to line them all up and that she doesn't have a stand, that's a little bit disappointing and I did not realize that. But um, I'm sure out there there are stands that can be purchased. So in the meantime, what we'll do is she can have a little seat here because she does sit so well. This is one of the Rainbow High uh, chairs that I had that came with the closet. And as you can see, um, she fits in it really, really well. So, but let's take a look at the rest of her outfit, okay? So she's got these amazing little sneakers that have the number 86 on the back. And every single piece of apparel has Rainbow High or RH on it. You'll notice that everywhere. Um, the skirt's really nice. It also has, um, like, underwear as well. She has the 86 on her jersey. And everything is easily removable. That is one thing that I will say that the, um, the design team for Rainbow High really had it well thought out. The clothes fit super well, but they're curvy dolls, and they just make them really easy to get items on and off and they fit perfectly. And it's also easy because you can take the back side off as she's got a white shirt underneath. Like they really paid attention to detail with the designs. I love it that she's got flames going down the side. That's just super cute, super cute. All right, let's talk about the hair for a minute. These little uh, sparkle barrettes are adorable. She comes with four of them. Her hair is already tied in the front and she's got a nice 80s crimp going on. I don't mind that too much being a kid of the 80s. I like that she's got some crimping going on. She's got uh, the telltale cheerleader bow, <laughs> which you must have, of course, when you cheer. And then she's got really, really gorgeous hair. I have to tell you though, it would just be better if it was easier to get the doll out of the package. That was the biggest challenge I had was um, she had, she was actually attached to the back of the packaging, the back of her head. So that was one thing that was really annoying to me. But in all, this doll is gorgeous. I love that she's got crimped hair and she also does come with a comb, which I did not take out but the comb is in here too. But I am disappointed that there is not a stand for her. So that would really be my only drawback that I would say to, to getting Ruby Anderson because she's otherwise super cute. But I love it because the other balls that I do have, all of them have come with stands. This is the first one that has not. And I have gotten some of the other cheerleaders, which I've not opened yet, but I'm guessing if Ruby doesn't have it, then probably the other girls don't too. But all in all, I would say she is just so stinking adorable. And I truly, truly think she is super cute. I think she's going to be making a great addition to the rest of the team that I have assembled so far. So we've got Daphne, we've got Ruby, and we have Emmy. And there will be some more dolls that we'll be opening up in the future. So I hope you will come back and join us. Thank you so much for watching Stockpile Hobbies today. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet. And give us a thumbs up and a like. Hope to see you again soon.